When you hear of a black Mecca, you always think of places such as Atlanta and DC. But in this new two-part series, two Madame Noir editors will highlight a couple of new places. First stop is St. Louis, Missouri. Let's see what's in store on Exploring Black Meccas. When I think of a black Mecca, I think of a place where black people can succeed professionally and personally, where they just feel comfortable being themselves and doing what they want to do. So I think that's why it was so important for me, for us to check out St. Louis, mm -hmm. because they have so much in terms, you know, of black history. And something that people don't often think about is the fact that Dr. the late Dr. Maya Angelou, she was actually raised here. Right. I want us to check out this place called the Bond Cultural Center. Mm -hmm. They have so much when it comes to displays of like African American art. I know you're gonna love it, so okay. let's go see what they got going on over there. All right, well, I'm excited to see it. I'm Veronica. Hi, Veronica. I'm Genesis. Hi, Genesis. Hi, Genesis Victoria. Nice to meet you. Nice I'm Genesis. to meet you. Well, thank you so much for coming to the Vaughn Cultural Arts Center today. It's our center for the Urban League where we're able to display artistic talents by some of the members in our community. It was started actually out of a response to the East um, St. Louis race riots that happened there. Let's go take a look at the art, and I hope you enjoy the show. Oh, the oh, Cultural Center. You know, I really love the spoken word event. It's just a lot of really hidden talent in St. Mm -hmm. Louis that should really be seen by a lot of people. We're actually gonna go and check out a natural hair salon that's not too far from here. Mm -hmm. And after that, we're actually gonna check out Sweetie Pies, like, you know, from the show. Yeah. So I'm excited because I love me some, some Sweetie Pies. And some chicken. soul food. Right, some soul food. Right, ready to eat. <laughs> <laughs> and then after that, we're actually gonna check out some of St. Louis' nightlife. So okay. that'll be really awesome. Hi, Veronica. I'm Lana. Lana Welcome nice to meet you. Thank you. Welcome to Cultivate Salon. Victoria. Hi, Victoria. Thanks for coming to uh, Cultivate Salon. We're a premier natural hair salon. I started it based on uh, knowing that women wanted to be a lot more knowledgeable about natural hair. What would you recommend for like maintaining moisture while you when you shampoo your hair? The best thing I would um, recommend based on if your shampoo doesn't have a lot of moisture and taken in consideration with the blonde color is very drying. So I would suggest that you use a uh, like an olive oil or jojoba oil, put a little bit in your shampoo just to add that little moisture. Yes. Oh, wow. This is so pretty. Oh, I love this. It's so pretty. Thank you so much. You're welcome. It's just so pretty. Marquee restaurant lounge. Okay. Cool. It's really nice in here. Why would you say the marquee is like a pop-in 
place for African Americans to be in St. Louis. It's mm -hmm. just so great. Everyone mm -hmm. comes in, they don't expect this inside this building. Mm -hmm. And then when they walk in, they're like, wow, they feel like they're somewhere else. Right. So whenever celebrities come here, they when they get here, they're like, oh my God, this is nice. They even love this. Right. They, it's something that they never seen also. It's huge. Right, yes. yeah. Well, I'm happy to have you. So go out, enjoy yourself, and talk to you later. All right, thank you. That's it for part one, so let us know what you think about St. Louis in the comment section below, and be sure to check out part two, where we'll be visiting Oakland, California. For more information on any of the places visited in this segment, log on to madamnoir.com, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube.